The NEA has a special grant called an Our Town Grant that the Economic Development Planner for the City of McCall applied for and the grant was to hire an artist to design and create artwork for the new replacement bridge that they had put in that spans the spillway from the Payette Lake into the river. The title of it was called Bridging the Source, which I think is a great name for, for the project. It was really appealing to me because I'm also from Idaho and I grew up here. A big component of the Our Town grant um, asked the artists to do public outreach to uh, to help sort of uh, inspire and come up and create um, design ideas. I put together a PowerPoint presentation that featured different bridges all over the world that had artwork on it. I also went up there a couple of times to do forging demonstrations and a public call for the community at large to come and join me to get their input. This was really valuable because I was able to, uh, it gave me an opportunity to, to listen to what they had to say because they're the ones that live there um, all year round. So I took the drawings and the notes that they had and used them as source material for uh, creating two designs um, that, they, uh, that the city could choose from. One relating to the fish in the lake and the river, and also one relating to the seasons. So with the community's input, uh, the city uh, voted on the uh, seasons concept which is basically the four seasons. I chose to pull in kiln cast glass for the color and the design. So the color in the glass references the season. And then also there are forged botanical forms on, on each one of the designs. So there's uh, spring flowers, summer flowers, for autumn, I used a hawthorn bush loaded up with berries, and then of course winter, I went with something very simple, which is a pine bough and a pine cone, because that's pretty much all you see up there in the winter, that and snow. So I have a background in traditional blacksmithing, which was very useful and helpful for this project. All of the metal work I've, I forged myself, each uh, pine needle is forged by hand, and so uh, I, I made just multiples of those and then um, ended up welding them together. And then the pine cone itself uh, took me about four days to make. So after I got the call from the uh, city planning manager, I went up to McCall and took field measurements of the columns. I think because I, I made the work myself, I, I knew how to address any issues that, that would come up because that's kind of part of it when you're building it. You think, oh, what if this doesn't work or that doesn't work? Um, and this is how I'm going to address that if that comes up in the installation. I'm already prepared. I've already thought about it. Um, and so I've, I've brought the equipment with me and the extra um, uh, hardware, tools, if things happen to fall off the bridge into the river, we have a backup. <laughs> so when we showed up, the people from Parks and Rec were there with their equipment, and we lifted everything out of, out of the truck, and they helped us uh, settle everything onto, onto the pedestals. And then, uh, me and my assistant uh, worked together to finish putting in the bolts and doing all the touch-up work and, and finish the, the installation together. And uh, because of that, um, the installation was, was very smooth. So as you're driving um, onto the bridge from either side, there is an artwork uh, flanking each side of the, the bridge. So if you look to the left, you see spring. You look to the, to the right, you see summer. And then you cross over the bridge, and, um, and then there is fall on the right, and then you look to the left, and it's the winter concept. 
now that the project is installed, it's really important to me for the community to enjoy it, and, and I hope they're proud of it, and I hope that the, the pieces are something that, that they can be proud of and brag on. That would be really nice.